I appreciate you giving me the chance to talk about TTIP because I have a, an interesting vantage point. I served, as, as you know, as the U.S. Ambassador to France and lived here in Paris for over four and a half years. I've come to understand the cultural differences and the, the emotional issues that underpin this extraordinary deal. I also um, am one of the rare examples of somebody who's gone from being a bilateral ambassador to being an assistant secretary of state. And my job is now uh, in economic affairs to um, oversee the trade operations from the State Department. And in addition, before coming to the government, I ran small and medium enterprises. I was a CEO of small companies. So I look at this from many different perspectives. The first thing I do is I realize that America and Europe are the two largest trading partners in the world. With America with its $15 trillion economy and EU with approximately 16, representing almost half the world's GDP. Uh, the, the combination of these economies, eliminating any tariffs that exist, and more importantly, reducing the non-tariff barriers, will have a dramatic impact on the economies both in the US and the EU. But no greater impact will be felt than, uh, those, uh, than uh, the way the deal will impact small and medium enterprises, like the ones I was running. A uh, fact I'm not sure if, if people fully understand, but about 99% of all businesses in the U.S. and the EU are small and medium enterprises. About 85% of all net new job creation comes from small and medium enterprises. And there are about 20 million SMEs in the EU and 28 million SMEs in the United States. So think about this. When you reduce tariffs a little bit, everybody tariffs a little bit, everybody benefits. But think about how much the benefit will impact a small business. In some cases, that extra ability um, to uh, transact could be existential. So the way that SMEs are impacted by, by a, a, a TTIP negotiation, by a TTIP deal, um, will be uh, transformational. I think it will have an extraordinary impact on, on the global economy and certainly the economy of the EU and the U.S.